a worm's tumor involving one side and a young child, what is the, usually the prognosis? It's actually usually very good. In fact, it's interesting. It depends on a couple of things. It depends on what we call histology. There's a favorable histology and there's an unfavorable histology. Almost about 80 plus percent is usually favorable. It also depends on um, something called LOH, which is a loss of heterozygosity, heterozygosity, which means, in essence, it's two, it's markers, it's some genetic markers. So what we do is we add on age, we look at histology, and we look at some of these genetic markers, and we stage them. We stage them by what the size of the tumor is. We stage them about whether there's metastases. Metastases means the tumor has gone to different places, and Wilms tumor tends to go into the lungs sometimes. And we look at whether it's extended up past the kidney up into the veins. Great progress has been made on Wilms tumor at this particular time when it was 20, 30 years ago. Exactly. And what's interesting about it is if you add up all those factors, one of the best things that's ever happened to this population is the, is the children's oncology group. And why I say that is because all these major hospitals in the country that deal with kids with tumors, what they do is they take these children, their tumors and everything, and they put them into a big pool. And then they look at chemotherapy, and they look at radiation, they look at surgery. And what they do at the end is they decide what combination works the best for these children that give them the best outcomes. So, when you're faced with this problem, you're not saying, oh my God, this has never happened before. What's, ha what's going to happen if I do this? What they do is they have fingerprinted each individual tumor, and they have perfected it to such a way that you have exactly what you need, how many rounds of chemotherapy, when does surgery take place, when does radiation. And what they've done is they've had what we call um, the National Wilms Tumor Study Group. There's five renditions now. And in each one of them, they ask a question. If we take off this little piece of chemotherapy, what happens to the children? If we do this little less of radiation, what happens to the children? So by the time now that we're up to, I think it's six, what we have is we have a blueprint for the best chances of your child doing well. Back in the 50s, they started reporting or sharing the information, and it's almost like 60 years of this stuff, and because of that sharing of information, we take many cancers today in children and getting much better results because of it? Absolutely. Not only have the, have the agents gotten better, but our knowledge of how the tumors react have gotten better. The, the goal of people who deal with oncology and kids is to try to be able to give them the therapy that gives them the greatest chances for, prognos for, for, for a good prognosis and limits, and it's important to understand, and limits all the bad effects that the chemotherapy and radiation can cause because in essence they can cause some permanent damage or possibly even secondary tumors down the line. So the goal now for people who handle cancer in these children is to find out what's the least amount of chemo and radiation we need to get the best results. And that's what the key is. We've done huge, huge um, um, advances in not only just the types of meds, but how we deliver them. And the concept of the multimodality, so you don't just operate. So for instance, if I had a, a child with a Wilms tumor under a certain age, um, under uh, like eight months or so, um, and it's only 550 grams and all this, I may not need to give any chemotherapy at all. If I have a child with a huge tumor, but I can take it out, and I, I have not had any spread, because I take the lymph nodes to see if it's spread through the lymph nodes, if I don't have any lymph nodes that are positive, and if I've taken the whole tumor out, it's like a stage two, if, it, if it's just within some of the borders, I've saved that child radiation therapy. So the concept of using these huge these huge amounts of studies of these children is to fine-tune the therapy to minimize the damage to the child but to prevent the child from having recurrence of the cancer.